Hey everyone, today we're gonna make a box. First, we're going to look at our mitering tool. This will help us to make um, beveled edges on our corners to make a really good joint. We're gonna use the 45 degree angle, so it's this right angle right here, as opposed to the 30 degrees. To do this, you wanna put your thumb down at the bottom. I'm a righty, so I'm gonna put on the right side and I'm gonna just slide my, my tool right down to my thumb and peel that off. To make it easy, I'm actually just going to flip this clay around and continue to do this on the right side, placing this edge right against the edge of my clay, pull it straight down towards me. And to keep all my edges the same, I don't wanna be changing the direction of my hand. So I'm going to, again, put my thumb at the bottom so that it doesn't pull the clay. And then I'm going to just pull straight towards me and peel that off. So we're making a stiff slab box. You want your slabs to be a little stiff. There we go. And stiff clay gives you the cleanest cut. So this is a little wet. So it gives me these little crinkled edges. Okay, so I've gone ahead and um, beveled all six of my squares. And now they are stiff. So if I can pick one up, um, you'll see that they, they kind of hold their shape it's still a little bit soft. Um, if yours are a little stiffer, that's perfect. But we're gonna work with what we've got. So here I, I have these, and now that I've got 45 degrees um, beveled on each side, they can fit together as a 90 degree angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my slip, and I'm, I'm sure you can imagine what I'm gonna do. I'm using a serrated rib, that's the kind that looks like a, a butter knife, and I'm just gonna score. I love these serrated ribs because it's like a one-stop shop. You can score and slip at the same time. I'm just gonna go ahead and do all four sides while I have it because it's easier than trying to pick it up again. So I'm just gonna scoop a little bit of slip onto there and score it in. Remember when you're scoring, you really do wanna do um, some deep scoring. Don't be shy about adding slip and scoring because if you have shallow, marks in your clay, they're not going to hold together. So you really want to get in there and um, create some deep bridges for your scoring. Okay, I'm not going to do all four on this side. I'm going to do two because I don't want it to get all gooey. It's going to be a little while before I get to the other side. Okay, so now I've got that. What I'm going to do is place it down. Let me make sure you can see it. Yeah, I'll do it back here. You're going to place this down, the backs together, the fronts together. Whoops. And I'm going to press that with the palm of my hand so that it creates a nice um, steady pressure back here that will create a good seam. So now that I have this seam in here, I wanna take a little bit of clay and I want to create a coil um, to reinforce this seam right here. So I'm going to take a little bumpy log of clay and roll it out. You don't need a lot of clay for this. You just need a little. So right now, those, those edges are just connected by um, this small amount of clay. But if I put a coil in here like this, then I can um, create more clay that will hold it together. So I'm gonna use my hand, stiff like a board, and I'm going to just press that in. This one's easy because the whole box is open. And I, I don't want a big lump in there. So while I can get at this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth it like this. So I'm pressing Press, 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 smooth, smooth, smooth. That's how I like to do it. You can find your own way to do it if you'd like. I don't mind. So I'm gonna pull off the extra clay. And if you'd like, while it's open, you can either come in here with this and work that down in a little bit more. So I'm working the bottom half down into the bottom and smoothing it and take off the extra. 
and then I can do that to the top. And our idea is that we want to create the smoothest, cleanest edges. Even this, this is the inside, the idea this is a box. So people will be opening the lid and looking inside and we want our good craftsmanship to show everywhere. Okay, so now there's that. If you'd like, I mean, if you're really crazy about craftsmanship, you can come in with this blending tool and you can get it nice and sharp. But for me, I think that that might weaken it. I think I'm not gonna do that. I won't suggest that to you. Let's leave them round. Just nice and smooth together. So what I don't wanna see is a big hunk of clay stuck into the corner. Okay, that's bad craftsmanship. Your corner should be smooth and rounded and blended together. All right, so let's go ahead and connect the rest. So I'm going to score and slip with my serrated rib. And I'm going to do this on two sides, this side and this side. And I know I'm gonna be doing that third corner in just a minute. So I could do that, but I don't like how it's making a lot of clay on my board. So I'm gonna wait. Now here, I'm going to use my hand nice and flat, press against it. And, and I wanna show you what this looks like. Um, I want to use my fingers and make sure this seam is nice and together, but I don't want it to get wobbly. So it's a little tricky, right? You wanna put pressure on it to get good and together, but you don't want it to get all crazy wobbly. So maybe here, um, a good tool would be to use a brayer actually, and brayer the edge like we did on our soft slab jars. But for right now, I'll just use my fingers like a, a corner and smooth those seams together. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and use my coil on each of the seams that I've just created. You don't wanna wait till the end to put your, your coils in because then you, you can't reach your hand down into the box very easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This is a little dry. I could score more there, but I think this'll, this'll be okay. So I'm going to take my hand let me make sure that you can see in the light. I'm gonna take my, my thumb here, and I'm gonna press it, but this hand is stiff holding and supporting um, the back. So I press, 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 smooth, smooth, press, press, smooth, smooth. And that will help the coil to grow and take off the extra that I don't need. Okay, so I don't need this extra. Now I'm gonna use this uh, wooden trim stick here and I'm going to come in here and smooth down the bottom half into the bottom. So at first it's rough. So if you leave it like this, yes, that's connected and good, but it's not very high craftsmanship. So to smooth it, I'm going to take it and smooth it out. So what I really want you to become aware of at this point in your ceramics career is how to get good craftsmanship. How do ceramic artists see? We want things to look good. So now I'm going to hold it from the back and I'm gonna to try to bring this up here. So now I'm taking the top half of the clay that was left and working that right into the top. Clean off my tool and smooth that out. If you do this as you go, um, it will all work out. If you forget and wait till the end, you're going to have a hard time getting your hand down in there. Okay. So the bottom seams are super important. You want to do the top seams as well. The side, I mean, the side seams. So I'm going to use my fingers like um, pressing into the corner and I'm going to go ahead and press it with good pressure. So press, press, smooth, press, press, smooth, press, press, smooth until it can grow. I don't need to add more clay. I can just grow this little bit of clay. Whoops, <laughs> open the seam there. Um, I could just use this little bit of clay for what I need here. Okay, and I'm just gonna reconnect those seams. All right, and now for these, half on this side, right? 
work it in. You don't want to leave a big fat caterpillar of clay in the corners. So this, this might seem fast, but I'm, I'm only doing it fast for demonstration purposes, right? You want to take your time and do good craftsmanship, just making sure that you're keeping your clay uh, moist and together. All right, so ugly seam. Now I'm going to take my time, so not good craftsmanship yet, just that's not finished. Now to finish it off, I want to smooth it up. By pr I'm pressing into the back here. There's one side is done. And as I, I'm holding it as I press against it. Now I've kind of created this little ridge here. I can take my finger and maybe smooth that out and smooth out the bottom. Just being aware of any mistakes I've made or marks that I've made that I don't really want. Up here, I'm gonna press these together pretty nicely, but I wanna keep this, this um, beveled edge. All right, so I'm gonna finish my two sides and then I'll show you what comes next.